So if you guys aren't aware by now, there's a little bit of drama going on with Ethan Ralph of the Killstream, whose sidekick is Gator, who plays a soundboard, and is apparently a big deal because of that. Uh, these witty, witty hot takes. That's what he's also good at. And uh, who else? Joshua Moon of Kiwi Farms, aka Chaotic Neutral, aka JK, were actually the harbingers of justice and her der. Jesus, just pick a lane, guys. And the real freaking hero and entertainment of this whole thing, PPP, I crap you not. PPP is probably the most entertaining thing out of all this. This man is probably gonna seize the throne at some point. Mark my words. It'll be like King Arthur, and Godwin's son will be like his Merlin. And then PPP will reign for many, 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 many years. Many, 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 many Canadian years. Anyway, back to Ethan Ralph for a second. So, Ethan Ralph has been accused of some not very nice things. Some P3D0 claims. And now he's just denying them or whatever, and saying how they're not true, and how Kiwi Farms is Karen Farms, which, <laughs> by the way, that was pretty clever, and it's probably the only point I agree with Ralph on. Everything else was pretty bad and well, not, not well thought out, and just horrible damage control by his camp, which consists of Gator and Digibro as the top people, I guess. Everybody else I've never heard of, unless you want to count Dick Masterson, which I don't even know if Dax Ferreira is in their camp. I'm gonna assume he is, but then again, he hasn't really said anything against the Karen farm, so who knows. I know Gator has, like, a good little housewife been constantly, and I mean constantly, trying to defend Ralph, and it's kind of hilarious. The reason it's hilarious that Gator's doing it of all people, because it seems like he wants to go ahead and say that there's no actual basis or proof that Ralph is indeed a P3DO and everybody is just making it up and it's just coming out of everybody's ass, but Gator had no problem just basically calling a random person <laughs> A P3DO like months ago based on a video, a sketch video at that made by a Mr. Potato Head lookalike doppelganger whose only real defining factor is licking Nick Ricada's feet and getting a treat once in a while. Like seriously dude? <laughs> Gee, it's almost like the community you're in just randomly throws out P3DO accusations because that's the worst thing you can do. It's almost like you throw that word out there so much without real proof or basis for it and try to spin your own narratives because you know that's what'll rile people up. Or maybe you want to have a reason to mob up on someone for some weird self-righteous shit which you probably don't even care or believe in. It's really fucking pathetic when you get down to it, but whatever. I just find the whole thing of Gator trying to advocate for why Ethan isn't a P3DO to be laughable and kind of annoying. Even more annoying than freaking Digibro being on Ethan's camp and wanting to be taken seriously. Like, no offense, dude, but I'm not gonna take a man wearing a freaking dress having a sexual identity crisis in 2020 just to get publicity points seriously. I know I'm a bad person for that, but like, I, I don't fucking care. Digibro, you're fucking Joshua Moon and PPP, the newest kingpin on the block, decided to make a podcast clearing the air of sorts. It was a pretty freaking entertaining podcast. There was a guy named Godwin's son that I've never heard of, but he is freaking gold on the mic. Like, legitimately very funny. He was there as well, and well, basically they just tore into Ralph and Gator and made them just jokes. Not that they were jokes in their own right before, but even more jokes. The funny thing is they actually provided some valid reasons, arguments, confirmations, and proof that Ralph is full of shit. <laughs> and that the P3DO accusations against Ralph hold a lot more substantial weight to it than anything Mr. Potato Head lookalike could have provided to you. Yet, it's funny how Gator was so quick to go ahead and jump on that train, but he's not so quick to jump on the Ethan Ralph train. It's almost like there's a double standard at work. Now, personally, a retarded drunk used to tell me that you should back up your friends no matter what, even if they were in the wrong. But that's why he's a retarded drunk, because that makes no sense. If I'm gonna have a friend, I wanna be able to tell him when he's in the wrong and why he's in the wrong. And if he's willing to dump me or ditch me or she, you know, I try not to have girlfriends because, you know, that just complicates things. And then I'm just a, a, a playboy, e-boy manipulator. <laughs> really, that's the best you got? But, uh, <laughs> sidetrack for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's funny. It's really funny. Point is, I want to be able to tell people when they're wrong and not have them taking up the, the butt and then just, you know, be like, you're not my friend because you didn't take my side when I did something wrong. Jesus Christ, dude. We can talk about it. We can have a discussion about it, you know. Uh, but if you're so quick to just say, yeah, if you call me out on my BS even once, I'm gonna just like... 
assume we're not friends, well, then you're just a retarded drunk. What can I say? And no, I'm not talking about Ethan Ralph, although he is also a retarded drunk from what I've heard. In conclusion, uh, all these people except for PPP and Godwin's son are pretty scummy in their own right. It's really hard to choose a side in all this, so I really just chose the side of whatever people, like, roasted the other the best. And that was Joshua Moon side. Because Joshua Moon was smart about how he plays things. Even though his penis doesn't work. But again, mostly due to just PPP and Godwin's son just absolutely dunking and destroying Gator and Ethan Ralph. <laughs> God damn it. No offense, Ethan, but you kind of doomed yourself the moment you decided to have this guy on your team. Okay, it's meantime. Home. I'm just stating my opinion. I think this video is really petty.